Hmm. I wonder if that's significant. Obviously, lighters run out of fluid, but that one was working just fine earlier. Oh, I need to light the candle. Okay, today's reading is going to be a little bit different. Already, I had planned to do a different reading. It's going to be a long reading. But when I sat down to do that reading today, a lot of stuff happened. And I actually had to set that reading aside. And I knew like mentally I was not in the headspace to actually read that reading this week. Because just a lot of stuff going on. I had to, I had to put it aside for next week. But I had planned to just do like a little random reading and just anything that comes out. But as I was sitting here doing this reading, getting ready to do the reading and preparing and clearing the energy, my lighter wasn't working. And then I forgot all, I completely forgot my like usual intro of lighting my candle and like what I do <clears throat> to kind of clear the space. It was like my brain just completely lost track of the plan. And it does feel like there is this sort of rerouting type energy uh, going on. I feel like you, if you're drawn to this reading, there's something going on for you that's being rerouted. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think it's just something like, it's not like you've gone off the rails or gone off track, but it's like the, it's like it's shifting just a little bit. And so there's, I feel like I'm in this energy of like something's happening, something good is happening, but it's like it, and the shape of it's changing. And I think what it's forming into is maybe not exactly the way that you had pictured it. I don't know. There's just this rerouting because like I said, this reading is not even ending up like I wanted it to. It was going to be a random reading and I feel like it's a reroute. I feel like I keep getting rerouted today. So I just feel like that is significant. And Okay, so like I said, today's reading is different. I'm not doing a card. The dice that you see, this is going to be group one, group two, and group three. I do think it's interesting that I had set these out to be grouped together for the reading, and every single one of the these die are on three. So we've got three, three, three um, already going on, but I am going to roll them individually to see what lands because I haven't rolled them yet. Um, I just wanted you guys to see what they are landed on. And we have, um, I believe this is the sun. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the sun. I get really messed up with symbols. But for group one, it we already had the sun and the number two and the three. Um, for group uh, two, we had the three, the number one, and I believe this is Aries. And then for group three, we had the three, the eight, and Scorpio. So the eighth house can be significant. But... Like I said, if you're already drawn to a group, you can go ahead and um, click on the timestamps. I am going to roll them, though, because I have not rolled them yet. So for group one, we also have the number 10, the number six, and Venus. For group two, we have the number three again um, with the number seven and... Sagittarius. For group three, we have the number four, the number six, and I believe Virgo. I am also going to do a charm from each one of um, the jars. We'll do group one first. 
So you got the number 37 with it looks like a shovel and a bag of seeds. If that'll focus. Oh, and I don't know if I stated, like, th so the reading is going to be a rip. All you guys can tell from the title, but this is reading is going to be about something that's being rerouted for you. Okay, we're going to do group two next. You've got um, number 23 with Go Team. And for group three, we've got number 28 with, looks like a shadow or a dancer or, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up. And then also we're going to do um, another set of charms right quick. Okay, we'll do group three first. Okay, group three, you've got number 73 with the bird and a flower. Group two, group two, you've got um, 130 with the arrow through the heart. And group one, oh, group one has the number 55 with the, what is this? Is that that? Is it like bio? Oh, sorry if that was loud. The biohazard um, or the caution. Anyway, all right. And that's what you guys have to choose from. Um, I'll have the timestamps down below and then we'll get into the cards in the group. All right, group one. Um, I just wanted to show you that I was preparing this deck, so I didn't have any of the decks prepared today. So I was actually pausing the video to prepare the decks and then shuffle. This card flew out and just slid. Like it went from all the way over here and just slid and landed over here. So I'm taking this card as um, the card for you for this group or for this deck. Okay, group one. So if you chose this grouping of dice and the number 37 with the shovel and the seeds or the number 55 with the Caution, biohazard. I'm going to figure out what those are in a minute. This is, oh, and that flipped. Did y'all see that? So it was on, I believe y'all was on Venus, and it flipped to the moon. So the moon could be significant here. Um, cancer, or... I don't know why I feel drawn to say Taurus. Taurus could be significant. Oh, and this isn't the deck I wanted to use. A lot of um, me feeling like discombobulated, like can't quite get with the energy, like trying to figure it out. Because um, like I said, this is a rerouting for me as well, because I originally was just going to do like a random reading. Okay, but these decks are already pre-cleared and shuffled. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, so you got the Ten of Wands with the three crosses. This is an Oracle deck. Um, oh, and I didn't check to see what this was. Oh, Apparition. So I will double check the meaning of that. Uh, this next Oracle deck, I cannot show the back of the cards. So I'm just giving it one more shuffle. And oh, your card came right out. Okay, and I can show this one on camera. So this, you got the holly. Mm -hmm. oh, do this deck next. Oh, I feel like that is your card. Okay, and you've got the scythe, I believe. Did I do all the decks? No. I didn't. Okay, got this one. Came out quickly too. Well, all three of these came out. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna take them. All right, so you've got the number 14 with the writer. A sure sign of good news, unless along six, eight, eleven, or thirteen. Ooh, we've got eight. Okay, the broken glass foretells ill luck for long years, if near, but if distant. 
okay. Some of this I'm not going to read out loud because these cards I don't necessarily take um, literally. I take them like intuitively. So you've got the number 27 with the dog if near represents true friends if distant and surrounded by clouds. Beware of unsuspecting enemies. Okay, let's see. Okay. And then one more deck. And you've got the unlikely. So I'm going to spread these out. Okay, group one. This, with ten coming out on the die, and you have the ten of wands, which is the three crosses. This talks about a completion of, like, a really heavy cycle. And not just that, but specifically with this oracle deck, it talks about something really heavy spiritually. Holly talks about protection. So protecting yourself um, like spiritually at all costs. And the scythe talks about kind of cutting things away. And apparition can talk about grief or loss. There is, and because you've got toxicity, this, um, the toxic symbol, the caution symbol here, um, biohazard talks about toxicity from a situation or a person in your life. And then you've got the shovel here, which is cutting new ground and planting new seeds. So there's a rerouting of your life. And then you've got the writer here. And I just see this as like a leaving a situation because the writer's riding away from this house right here. I see you as riding away from a situation that's broken. But you've got the dog, which is a positive card. So I think that there, if this is pertaining to a situation, because you've got unlikely here, and look with the unlikely, you've got the rope, like, starting to break here. There is a situation, a relationship that I think you kind of expected to go somewhere or to turn out positively that has not or is currently it's ending but i see you at the end of the cycle here the cycles it's the end and, and i see the protection card here talk about protecting yourself spiritually at all costs and then the scythe it, it looks like you are taking the you're making the move to to cut this situation or this person out. I'm really seeing this as a person to cut them out. And you're preparing to cut ground for new for something new. And but this is a reroute. There's something about this that's rerouting. With the dog here. Look here, like even the rider is leaving. There's a, a dog, which represents like a true friend, loyalty. I think there's someone in your life currently who is someone or a situation that's like following you, waiting for their moment to step in, waiting for you to exit this cycle. And I think that's the reroute. There's someone or a situation that's waiting for the right time. For when this cycle was ending, this Ten of Wands was ending, and the cord was snapping. Okay, I want to see. I'm going to leave these two out. I'm going to set these aside. But I want to leave that here because I don't something about that's really significant with it being what we're looking at the reroute being because I'm seeing the cycle here that ten of wands cycle like being at completion or very near to it and we're looking at what's being rerouted so I feel like there's an emphasis on that oh is that one already flipped over you've got the sun 
I don't know. That one just flipped. Okay, we've got the Seven of Pentacles here, but I'm not going to take it um, because I didn't notice it at first. But the Sun, very positive. Okay, what else for Group 1? What else can you tell us about this, this dog and the writer? You got the Five of Pentacles, okay. You've got the Oh, it's death. I'm sorry. December 13. So you got the death. Five of Pentacles and the death. And then you got the nine the nine of wands. The nine of wands, sorry. I don't know if with my accent if you could understand. Okay, this is... Hold on. I want to get just a couple of more. Okay, I'm only taking the top one. We've got the Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh, group one. Okay. Hold on. Well, oh, okay. And all right, that one wanted to come out. You've got the Four of Pentacles. You've got the Two of Cups. Okay, so for some of you... The vast majority of you, this is probably someone who's waiting, like this is someone who's waiting for their opportunity to come in in love. Ooh, okay, we're gonna take it. All right, and you've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of, a lot of Pentacle cards came out. Let's see. Look with the Death card. And the clock up here. This is someone who is who's been watching you for a while and and waiting. I think this person anticipated the ending of whatever the situation was or relationship was that you're currently ending right now. This person anticipated that with the five of Pentacles. They they knew it was going to come to an end with the Death card, but then you got the nine. Got the nine of wands and the nine of swords like this is talks about a lot of like a lot of strife a lot of um a lot of having to like stand your own ground and also ang anxiety and stress Planting seeds. I wonder if for some of you, this person planted seeds with you. Um, I think some of you may know who this person is. They planted seeds with you in the past, and they were hoping with the Four of Pentacles that it would come to fruition. Like really holding on and hoping that it would that it would blossom into something with you. The page, page of Pentacles. I'm just curious what the page... I just want to get one more on the Page of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. I want to say this person is was leaving it up to fate. Just with the Page of Pentacles coming out, I feel like this person felt like um, maybe in the past they didn't have a lot to offer and maybe that's why they didn't, they didn't come forward in the past. Um... Or maybe they were waiting on fate to step in and for the cycle to end with whatever situation or person you were with. Hold on. Three of Pentacles. Get the Three of Pentacles. This is a reroute. Hold on. Let me get one more past the Three of Pentacles. I keep saying one more, but okay, that was two more. We'll take two, and then this is going to be, those are the, these are the last two I'm going to take. Okay, so you've got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Quick moving energy compared to the Pentacles. Okay, this person was, 
what I'm seeing from the cards, this person was waiting kind of like on, I think on you. They plan, okay, so whoever this was has been waiting, watching you for a while, pl tried planting seeds. Maybe you know who this person was or maybe it, it didn't register for you like it did for them. They planted seeds with you and they hoped that they would come to fruition. They really held on to them and they had a lot of anxiety about this. Um, the rerouting though is they were waiting to hear from you. Like they were waiting for like somehow for fate to step in and somehow make you make a like speak to them or make a move or send a message or run into each other. Like I think they were waiting either for you to do it or for fate to step in and do it. But with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords coming out, they've already made the decision that they're following you. You see here with this dog like following like they're on the trail. Like they're coming after you. It looks like you're leaving the situation and you're like boom like you're on to like situation, relationship, whatever it is that you're, we're leaving here, the cycle that's ending, you, you've got your eye set on something, you're, you're focused and it looks like this person is just, they're just running after you. Like they see that you're moving on. And I think you, I don't think that you are going to like kind of speak or make a move towards this person and they're not this person's not going to take the silence on your part as an answer. Like they're going to come after you and make an offer, make or at least start a conversation. They're going to put themselves in your path. They're going to catch up to you. And that's the reroute. But there's something, I feel like there's something here I'm missing. Hold on a second. Okay, there's something about this murky energy. Uh, like, I'm not, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, this is a reroute. There's a reroute, and it's got to do with this person following you. I want to know what this murky reroute is energy that you're currently in right now. And, okay, let's see. Justice. Okay, so I'm going to say that there was some sort of justice that was owed to you, group one. Some sort of justice. Some sort of justice. You've got three of swords on the bottom. This, I want to say the reroute, there was a justice. You know, for some of you, obviously I'm not talking about being with anyone that was like toxic or unhealthy, but maybe there, maybe in the past there may have been, you may have felt slighted or maybe even rejected with this person. Maybe, maybe this was you, maybe you did plant seeds with this person in the past and they didn't, like they didn't hop on that chance at the time. And this murky reroute that's going on with the ending, I feel like your ending kind of got drawn out. And part of the reason why it's m the murky right now is because it's giving this person a chance to follow you, come after you, um, like get hot on your trail to like make a move is because you were owed that justice of this person. I don't want to say proving themselves, but because there was something toxic about a situation or a relationship that you came you came from, that you were coming from. And maybe this is their chance to prove that they're not like that. That they they want something serious, that they that they really mean business, that they really want to have a two of cups with you. That's what I'm seeing. But it's got something to do with it's got something to do with you're, the ending kind of being drawn out, and I think it's got something to do with, like, triggering triggering this person. But I do, there is an element of also, it may be of a justice that the ending, the cycle that you were going through now, and that um, that is ending now, there may be an element of it having been drawn out because there was a justice, justice that was being owed to you somehow through that situation and through that ending. And so it got drawn out for your justice if that makes sense in your favor all right group one that is what i'm seeing in your reading 
Uh, thank you very much for letting me read for you today, and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, group two. So if you chose this grouping of dice with the Sagittarius, we've got the seven and the three. We've also got the number 23 with go team and number 130 with the arrow through the heart, which this talks about being a fan of someone or something. And this also talks, uh, this um, arrow through the heart talks about um, love at first sight and also like an element of pain that can come with love. So that's interesting. I wonder if this is a love reading. Don't know yet. I'm getting your cards uh, right now. I've already pre-shuffled and cleared these decks. I'm just going to give them one more shuffle and get your cards. Okay, so we've got the Shakti. Okay, so one of those cards wanted to flip over and I wonder if it's significant. Just one second and I'll get it. All right, group two, what's the situation? Got the king of diamonds or the king of pentacles? Wait, let's do this one next. Oh, wait, this was the one the, it, the top card flipped over. Okay, so you've got the number seven with the dandelion. Sorry, I had to double check that when there's a lion. Yeah, you see the lion? I don't know if y'all can see it. I had to check to make sure that the images were going to be safe because that deck's not always appropriate. What was the next card I was going to do? Oh. Doing a Lenormand deck. Okay, for group two, what's this reroute about? They're being rerouted. You got the... Hmm. I always get confused with these. Is this the... I don't think it's the crossroads. Hold on, I'm going to have to double check what that is. Okay. This deck next. And I would prefer to just get one card. Okay. Well, and two flipped over. Okay. So we've got the number 20 with the lilies forecast a happy life. Um, let's see. Is it with the clouds? No. Ooh, and this deck was shuffled really well. Let's see. We've got, so two, seven, 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 seven may be significant for someone. It may be a synchronicity because you've got, and also a seven here. Okay, so there's a highlight on sevens. Okay, and you get the stork. The notes change of residence for the better. Let's see. life store change of residence okay let's see oh one more deck for the oracles Let me try to just get one card if possible mm. You've got no need to worry. Okay, group two. This is the crossroads. So there is the reroute that you're at is a crossroads. But I love all the sevens that came out for you um, because I feel like the sevens are highlighted. And the dandelion actually talks about, because let's get the Leo, the lion here. A time of fun, like a time of play, a time of like not worrying, not stressing. And it, you have no need to worry down here. And you've got happy life down here. I do feel like this is something to do with love because you've got the fan, like go team with the a fan of someone or something. And then the love at first sight. It's interesting the Shakti card, I had to look it up because this one hasn't actually come out in any of the readings I've ever done. And this represents the divine feminine. So the divine feminine, it also talks about playing, having fun, but it represents the divine feminine. And it's just interesting that the king of pentacles came out. So the king of diamonds here, because in Appalachia myth, 
the bear was actually seen as the like the lord of all the animals so like the chief of all the animals and so he's representing here the divine masculine so we've got a card representing the divine masculine and a card representing the divine feminine all about playing um happy life no need to worry but there is a crossroads and a change of residence possible so or like a possible change of scenery there is a change coming up but there's an emphasis on this must be the reroute because there's a change of scenery there's a change of scenery a crossroads you're at but i want to get into the tarot now because it's emphasizing that there's no need to worry and it's all about fun but i don't know with this being like i'm not sure what this means with it being like the divine feminine and the divine masculine being represented oh okay here we go you got the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles so maybe you've been hanging out here for a while maybe you've been at this crossroads for a while maybe the emphasis on having fun is um just to hang out and play the magician as i say play what does that mean though like you're sitting at a crossroads no need to worry there may be a change of scenery maybe it's just literal for you group too like that's at the seven of pentacles maybe it's just okay well we've got two cards coming out rather aggressively you got the seven of cups as well and the ace of wands hmm Oh my gosh, you guys. <clears throat> I'm a little slow on it today because anyway, the sevens. Y'all had so many sevens come out and you got two sevens. Seven of coins, seven of cups. So seven of pinnacles, seven of cups. Hmm. Possibility, the possibilities. Five of Cups. Okay. Crossroads. There's a whole bunch of possibilities. Okay, maybe you're supposed to play with the possibilities, group two. Maybe the reroute is you're supposed to kind of hang out here for a second, the Empress, with the three, emphasizing the three. Okay. Maybe there's an emphasis on hanging out here at this crossroads for uh, just a minute, playing, having fun, and playing with all the possibilities that are, could be available to you. You've got the Knight of Wands. Just with so much emphasis on the sevens, there's something about this reroute. It's got to do with love. It's got to do with a divine counterpart and a change of scenery and crossroads that you're at. But you're being asked to kind of hang out here in this murky energy, this changing energy, and sit with the possibilities because you're, you're coming out like as the magician. Um, but don't be in a hurry with the Knight of Pentacles. You don't have to. Whatever it is that you've had or that has given you the contrast to kind of show you what you do and don't don't want out of life you with the magician and the empress you can manifest anything you want group two but there's just an emphasis on explore all of the possibilities here explore all the possibilities let's see if there's anything else because there's a eight of pentacles Okay, there's something. Hmm. 
you've been working really hard towards something and investing in something group two, but there's something you're missing and you're being asked to sit, you're being rerouted at this crossroads. Two of swords. She talks about a decision. You're at the, cr okay, okay. It's becoming clear now. Okay, you're at the crossroads, group two. Um, but for some reason, you've not been able to make the decision yet. So there's like, there's a decision coming up the crossroads. That's, you've not been able to make that decision yet. Ten of swords. Okay. And I think it's been weighing heavy. I think you've been trying to make the decision. You've actually probably been trying to go. You're trying to, you're trying to hit the gas. You're trying to go group two. And something has been holding you back, this murky energy, and it's because you're being rerouted. It's because Spirit's asking you to hang out here. My son's going crazy right now as I say that. That's confirmation that you're supposed to be hanging out here in this murky energy of like feeling like you're kind of being held back a little bit and prevented from making that decision because Spirit is wanting you to, to play and have fun with all of the possibilities. Like you could literally go anywhere from here um you could make any decision that you want manifest anything i'm not sure why you're being asked hold on you got the eight of cups hold on one of the cards oh, down here the six of wands okay you got the six of wands and the ace of pentacles Mm. You're a very powerful manifester group too, whoever you are. And it's like with the Sagittarius arrow here. Like, I feel like you don't miss. Oh, and there's two arrows, you guys. Love at first sight. Go team fan. Oh my gosh. I think there's things. Oh, okay. Okay, group two. I feel like you get a little love at first sight arrow doesn't miss you're a very powerful manifester group too but also when you set your sights for things like you can manifest them you're very powerful and you can manifest anything you want but there's been this delay 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 hesitancy um uh, it's not hesitancy it's this murkiness of being kind of i'm feeling like this perpetual loop of a, a loop of like a reroute where you've kind of been at this crossroads for a while now and i don't think it's your fault i feel like you've been trying to be de definitive and make decisions and kind of get somewhere but you kind of been held back and it's because spirit's saying that you can manifest literally anything you want and you can make it a success with the six uh, uh six of wands and the ace of pentacles like you can you i'm seeing like whatever you touch turns to gold but on that same token group two not necessarily everything that you want is going to how do i say this not all that glitters is gold and with two counterparts coming out like the divine masculine uh, feminine and the divine masculine coming out you got the three of wands yet yeah, more of that literally sitting in the possibilities and and seeing all possibilities because i don't know if it's like a specific person you've had your sight set on or what but what i'm seeing is like I love it for a sight. Like something that glittered for you was not fortitude with. Why am I forgetting all the numbers for the cards today? That's fortitude. Is that justice? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, group two. It is it is justice. Sometimes the numbers th really throw me off. There's something about numbers and symbols that like, I don't know, they kind of get mixed up in my brain. But yeah, so justice. I'm really seeing that as like, maybe there was something you were trying to manifest. And it's not saying that like spirits, spirits saying that you can have it if you want it. But I want to say there's something you've been possibly trying to manifest that is just not... Like, I think you see it and it's really, it's really golden and it's really shiny and you see all the really great things about it, but Spirit's saying it wouldn't do you justice. Like, and maybe, and, and it's not saying you can't have it. You can have it if you really want it, but there's like this energy of sitting in this reroute because it's like, do you really want it? Like, just sit with it. Cause I feel like group two, there's something about your energy that's like, 
I feel like once you've made your mind up, it's like it's set and you're a really powerful manifester, but you kind of, I think you kind of jump in or you have a tendency to, and I say that because I'm, I'm like this as well. You have a tendency to kind of jump in uh, before kind of thinking everything through, if that makes sense. And we've got the King of Cups. Okay. King of Cups. Hold on. I want to get one more card. And you got the Six of Cups. Okay. King of Cups and Six of Cups. Okay. And you got the Chariot. I'm going to cover that up. I don't know if it's King of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Chariot. Okay, I'm I'm asking a, a silent question. And I'm, whoop, well, I don't know which. Oh, it's this one. Okay, page of cups. Okay, group a two. So it's just interesting that the king of pentacles came out, and then we got the king of cups with the six of cups and the chariot. Hold on a second. I'm gonna tell you what I asked. I asked kind of like where you fall into this, like where do you fall? Because I didn't feel like you were coming out as the King of Cups. You're coming out as the Page of Cups here, and I'm feeling like there's this emphasis on you need to be kind of like very, what's the word here? Like open with the Three of Wands, like open to all the possibilities. Well, all these sevens coming out, like be open to any possibility. Just kind of be free flowing instead of being so, because I feel like you're very decisive group too. Like when you decide things, like you just, like you're, you decide them. But there's, and it may just be that maybe even when I said the whole thing about like what glitters is not always all gold, there's an element of you needing to like, because there's a king of cups here in the chariot six of and the six of cups as i see is like nostalgic and romantic and like kind of old-fashioned i feel like somebody's wanting to come in for you and i see this as a divine counterpart just because you have the divine feminine and the divine divine masculine coming out oh and the love at first sight. okay all right so this could go either way for you know some of you may resonate with the all glitters it's not gold but for some of you, like, I feel like you just saw, you know that, you know that somebody's the one, I want to say for you, group two, and you're being kind of held back in this murky rerouting energy because this, you're supposed to let this person come in for you. They want to be the romantic one. They want to be the one to make the first move. They want to be the one to pursue you and let you be the, like, innocent, go with the flow, like, oh, like, you love me and like, oh, you, you, you know, that kind of energy instead of being the one that instead of you being the one that makes the decision and be the one who's decisive and uh, uh, like let them come get you at the crossroads if that makes sense like just hang out there hang out with all your possibilities make sure you know exactly what you want and let them come be the romantic one the aggressive one the the pursuing one is what i'm getting it's so interesting page of wands yes you're being this with two two of the pages coming out like heavy emphasis on you being you can be excited and like sit with all the possibilities and dream dream about this if you want to you know but don't pursue them let them pursue you is what i'm seeing gosh i hope this is all making sense this reading is very murky like i feel like i'm kind of hanging out with the energy and trying to navigate as i go along and the seven of wands. More sevens. Just, just sit with the, just sit with it. And I think with the seven of wands coming out, this is just not something that you do well, group two. Like, you don't sit with things well. Like, you, like, when, like, you've made a decision, you're ready to go. And I feel like you having to sit still after you've made a decision and you're ready to hit the gas pedal and go is really rocking your world. And I think it's meant to, okay, hold on, for some reason. 
Like, what's anything else about why group two has been rerouted to this crossroads and had to sit here? Oh, that was too many. Had to sit here for so long. Justice. Hmm. Three of Cups. I wonder if this person somehow owes you that. I don't know. This is getting a very similar vibe to like group one. I wonder if this person owes you some sort of justice. Hopefully this will be the last one. Let's see. Six of... Six of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the reason why you're sitting at this crossroads is because this person is supposed to come towards you. They're supposed to come toward you and, um, like, woo you. I think you're excited and you know that this is the one, but they're supposed to come towards you. Because they've got kind of something to prove that they're, they're your, they are your equal, I'm seeing. But there's some, they need to prove it. I don't know if it's proving it to them or proving it to you. It may be just proving it to them, like themselves. But there's some kind of justice that's owed to you in this situation. It's really interesting. I'm not saying that there's a message for you in group one, but there is possibly. You got the world. There. I do feel like this is a cycle. I feel like you're going to know if this is your group, group two, um, that I feel like this is a cycle with this person. And I think maybe you've known for a while. But you've been blocked because you're not, so you're not supposed to be the one to make the move. It's supposed to be them. And that is the reroute. That's why you've been rerouted, sitting in that murky like energy and feeling like, what the heck is going on? It's because they're supposed to make the move. And you're supposed to sit with the possibilities. Because I think for some of you, you're supposed to be sitting with the possibilities and making sure that, like I said about the whole, all the glitters is not always gold thing, and making sure of what you want. Because like I said, this group is a powerful manifester. And you can manifest anything you want, and you don't want to manifest like, something that's not on par with who you are and not not like that single you want that six of pentacles energy which is your equal okay group two that is what i'm seeing in your reading today thank you very much for letting me read for you and i'll see you in my next one all right group three so if you chose these dice right here with the number six the virgo the four with the number 73 with the bird with the flower or the number 28 with i believe the shadow I need to look these up right quick. So you got the number 28 with the shadow. Seeing one shadow side, someone unaware of their dark side. Okay. And then the 73. You got the bird with flower, which is a hope or truce. Okay. Hope or truce. All right. We're going to get into it and see what this is about. I've already pre-cleared and shuffled these decks. I'm just going to give them one more shuffle and get your card. Okay, so you've got the hypnosis. Along with the seven of hearts or the, I need to double check because this is like an oracle deck, but that looks like a rattlesnake. Um, hold on, I actually want to check that right now. Where are my hearts at? Because I think this is a rattlesnake um, tail. Yes, it is a rattlesnake rattle. Let's see. Okay, so this can kind of go a lot of ways. But one option is that it's um, like it represents like a snake. So we'll see how that plays out. 
this other Oracle deck I cannot show on camera just because the back of it's not appropriate for YouTube. So I'm just going to shuffle it and get your card. Okay, let's see. And I do need to cover it. Okay, and you've got the Yarrow. Which talks about... What deck was I going to... Oh, this one. Which talks about, like, setting your own... Like, holding your own ground and setting your own boundaries and kind of being your own... The last time I saw that card, I kind of connected it to, like, Robin Hood. Like, being your own, like... Being your own, like, vigilante. But we'll see. We'll see what other cards want to come out. You got the... Um, the Bouquet, I believe. It's a Lenormand deck. Okay, I'm going to try to just get one of these, but for all the other readings, I got more than one of these cards today. Okay, that's way too many, so we're going to only take this one. So you've got the sun, the number one. So it represents happiness, popularity. Ooh, near snakes, mice, or dark side of clouds. Presages, vexation? Presages, vexation. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's interesting that when this is next, it's not... It represents like the dark side, the shadow side, the dark side with the number 28 here. And then you, you're you next to a snake. Hmm. Hypnosis. Not seeing something. Hope in a truce. Okay. Let's get one of these and then we'll look at them all together. You've got, you're going in the right direction. Okay, so you've got confirmation that you're going in the right direction. Group three. Just look at them all together. Okay, some sort of rerouting here. Someone's not seeing something. Someone's not seeing something clearly. Because with the shadow side here, talking about someone not seeing like a dark side of a situation. And this represents a hope or truce. And I don't know if the hope or truce is like a, a good it depends it, it it's you're going in the right direction so whatever direction you were going in or you currently are going in it's the correct one but there is something that's not being seen clearly towards like a like not seeing someone's dark side there's a snake and then you've got like being your own like a robin hood and like being your own robin hood with the bouquet You've got two cards that represent like happiness here with the bouquet and the sun would typically represent happiness if it wasn't near a snake. I don't know. I want to get into the tarot because I really feel like I'm not getting a definitive message just with the um just with these. I think I want to leave hypnosis on top just cuz I feel like the murkiness, the reroutes got to do with something not being seen clearly in regards to this person or situation. Something's not being seen clearly. You got the world. You've also got the Ace of Cups. Okay. The Fool. Okay, we've got the World, the Ace of Cups, and the Fool. We've also got the King of Cups. Okay, this one wants to come out. The Ace of Pentacles. What in the world? You know what? Let me get let me get a couple more and then you're going in the right direction, not seeing something not seeing something clearly. But you got some positive cards and talked about being your own like vigilante. Got the three three of pentacles. We got the king of wands. King of Cups and King of Wands. 
let's see. Oh, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, group three. This energy does feel very murky. And I feel like someone's wanting to offer you a truce. I feel like you've seen someone, you've seen a side of someone. And maybe that's it. Maybe you now are seeing. Maybe the clouds are kind of lifting for you and you are seeing something clearly, like with the sun there. Like you're seeing it in broad daylight like you're seeing you saw something about someone but they're offering you a truce like or an apology oh maybe that's what that is the the bird bringing a flower but then you had the bouquet so maybe they're offering you something mm, maybe they're offering you something and you were tr attempting to close out a cycle with someone and there's a reroute here going on because you've got an offer you're getting offered you're getting offered something. So for some of you, this may be love. For others of you, this may just be a situation where someone, maybe even like a job or something you tried to leave, is come, it's like I'm making you another offer. But with the night, like I was, there was some confusion for me. And the Knight of Pentacles came out. I feel like you're being asked to be slow in this decision of whether to like accept this person's offer back because you've got the full here with the king of cups mm, and just like the fool and the king like two opposites in the court like in the royal system like the the fool i see the fool is like the joker because typically the the fool is the joker in like reading playing cards you are both like you you have seen both sides and so i don't feel like you i feel like now i feel like you were fooled by this person but now you're no longer fooled by this person so you're able to see clearly i think you are able to see both sides the light and the dark side of this person i think you weren't before but the murkiness is that now that you do see both sides it's like do you take or if this is a job situation you see the good and the bad of the situation and i think because you have so clearly seen the bad there is, um, I want to say the murkiness, the reroute here is like, you're not sure whether to take their offer, like whatever's being offered to you. Hmm. You're pausing here. I'm seeing... Oh, there may be, hold on, let me get another card. I want to see, because I'm feeling like there's more, like somebody's offering you a bouquet. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Group three, somebody or some situation is offering you a bouquet. Like, look here. All right, it's coming together. The bird is offering the offering a truce, offering the flower, offering the bouquet. Well, do you see how there's, in this hypnosis, there's flowers in the eye, in the eyeball here? clouding the vision this person's hoping to kind of cloud your vision with their offer with their flowers because i don't think they want you to see what all offers you would have on the table like if you were to actually look up from their offer you've got a lot like because you've got the ace of pentacles here you've got a king of wands here you've got a three of which just all of it coming kind of coming together is kind of representing like options like in seven of pentacles i always take this kind of card is this card specifically is kind of like what do you want to invest in like because the eight of pentacles talks so much about the work that goes into a job or a relationship or anything all that work like the blood sweat and tears i see the seven of pentacles is like what do you want to invest in? like 
taking that pause and being like, is this worth the work? And I feel like whatever the situation or person is, there's, there's a murkiness. There's a reroute here because you're being asked to kind of examine. You've got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, examine if you want, if you want to take this person's, accept this person's flowers, if you want to accept this person's truth, truce, because you see both sides, but it may not be worth it to you. You have a lot of other um, offers that would come in or um, would be available to you um, should you wish to go that direction or forego accepting this person's truce. You would have other offers, the Four of Cups. Just don't be blinded, group three, by the flowers, like this person trying to put the flowers in your eyes. Because I'm not saying, um, and the cards definitely aren't saying that, like, you can't go that direction. Because it says you're going in the right direction. So I think there's something you were leaning towards, um, group three. I don't feel like you're, like, you have kind of all the answers you need right now. Um, because you've seen both sides of the situation or person. You don't really need to see, like, like you're aware of it. And you're going in the right direction. Just be aware that this person is kind of trying to keep you. You got the Seven of Cups. Yeah. As I was about to say, they're trying to keep you from seeing other options. And I mean, it could be taken good and bad because, you know, maybe they just, they either love you that much or, and they see the error of their ways or like a job where they, they, they see, they finally see you and value you for what you bring to the table and maybe they just really don't want to lose you or it, it could be that they really are just trying to you know keep you for selfish reasons without being without quite seeing your value only you are going to know i really feel like with you're going in the right direction intuitively this group i think there's going to be different answers for everybody um you already kind of know ten of swords yeah, because you've been through it with this person or this group. And so, I mean, with this person or the situation. And so it's not a surprise to you. Holy cow. We got the star. And then the seven of swords. Okay. With like a, con this looks like a contract. You've been through it with this situation or person, and it's just not going to come as a surprise to you. Seven of Swords. A five of Swords. Can we clarify the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords? Because you got the star and that's a positive. You got the lovers. Yeah, I think only you are going to know. I feel like for, there's a, there's a real kind of, like I'm having a hard, t today's energy is just very, it's very difficult to navigate. And I feel like the Knight of Cups and you had the Knight and you guys have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I might be wrong. There's a lot. Okay. Like I said, this group, you're already going to know, like, if this person, if it's worth it, because sometimes it's worth it to give somebody a second chance or a situation a second chance, because sometimes people really do learn their lessons and people really do change, but other times they don't. And only you are going to know what's the right answer for you. But there is um, something you're wishing for. Um, but if they don't, if this person is not, Don't sign any like contracts. I, I, what I want to say is like, you've got the lovers and the knight of cups here. You have like a lot of options on the table or you will, and this person doesn't want you to see that for whatever reason. Just don't sign any like contracts with this person or the situation. Don't, 
don't make hasty decisions um, because you have options and there's no need to like solidify something with this person. Like don't let the flowers get in your eyes. Um, you're going in the right direction. Like entertain it and just you can entertain something and see where it goes without having to like sign a contract if that makes sense. So I feel like the reroute for you is is kind of sitting. It's funny that the three readings have kind they've had similar. That um, I'm not saying that the first two readings were the same as yours, but very similar energies of like the reroute feels like it's more of a a like let off the brakes and kind of sit with uh, the energy of something for a while. So like you don't have to make a decision right now. Like you can see if someone is worth it or not, like give them a chance to prove themselves or not. Um, because like we've already established, you've seen the the good and the bad, you, the the light and the dark aspects of the situation of this person. So you already know, but you do, I think there's a confirmation here, just so you know, group three, that you have plenty of offers that will come in for you. Um, regarding whatever situation this is, should you choose not to continue down the path with <clears throat> whoever this is in question that's trying to kind of put a lot of flowers in your eye and block your view. Okay, group three, that is what I'm seeing in your reading for you today. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in my next one.